Hi there, February class. Welcome back to this new review class. I hope that you are having an amazing time and that you are ready uh, for today. So, if you remember, yesterday we had a review about present perfect tense. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, si no lo vieron, you can watch it. It's important. I know that it's kind of tiring, que ya no queremos hacer nada. But it's important for you to be ready for the exams. Believe me, you have the keys in the videos for the exam. Okay, so uh, today we're going to keep reviewing about present perfect. More than that, about the verbs in past participle, that if you know, if you have paid attention, if you have understood the, the topic, you need uh, the past participle form of the verbs to write sentences in present perfect. We review about the present perfect tense. Um, you know that we start with the subject and then we write um, the auxiliary verb have or has, depending on the subject. Remember, uh, has is used with she, he, and it. Okay, con esos tres usamos has. Y ya con el resto utilizamos have, ¿ok? Then we write the main verb, in this case, en este caso usamos sin, en past participle, ¿ok? ¿Por qué dice tres aquí? Porque normalmente es la tercera columna en las tablas, como ven aquí, base form, past simple, and past participle, ¿ok? Is the third form. Ok, so, in this case, we need to use the past participle verbs. So let's check it out. In this case, we have irregular verbs. The, I mean regular verbs. You know that we have a regular verbs and irregular verbs. We don't have a rule to know when are we talking about regular or when are we talking about irregular. It's just right here that you need to learn it. Tenemos que aprenderlo porque no hay una regla y yo se los he dicho mucho. No hay una regla específica que te diga, este es regular, este es irregular. So you need to practice, believe me, it is just with practice. If you practice and practice and practice, you are going to remember which verbs are regular, you are going to remember which verbs are irregular, okay? So now, uh, I have in here some verbs that are at the end. For example, the most common that maybe you know are start, study. And they, are, and they are regular, ¿ok? ¿Qué significa que agregamos ed at the end? Started, started. Usually, they are the same as in the past simple, que es lo que ya sabemos usar, etc., ¿ok? Trouble, type. Eh, we have some exceptions. Tenemos algunas excepciones. For example, if it ends with y, como en study, We put away that Y and we change it into I and we add ED, study it, okay? So, what happens if we have irregular verbs? This is a long list, but it doesn't mean these are the only irregular verbs that there exist. So, aquí solo les estoy dando los que son uh, la forma en presente y de este lado el past participle, el past participle okay? No les estoy mostrando el, el simple past para que no nos confundamos, ¿ok? So pay attention present tense, que es el que sabemos usar, and then past participle, is what we need, es lo que necesitamos. And in here you can see a lot of verbs, you need to um, practice them. We have be, been, it's super important to know how to use this, this is one of the most important verbs. Then we have, for example, do, done, super important, eat, eaten, then we have uh, go, gone, what else do we have in here, um, leave, left, make, made, que eso ya lo estuvimos viendo en la unit 8, I think, then we have ring, room, Like ring, like the phones, when they ring, okay. Then we have, um, what else? De este lado tenemos, sit, sat, like sit, sat, speak, spoken, 
um, teach thought, okay? So you can see that some of them are pretty similar as in present, but some of them already, uh, they change a lot, like teach and thought, okay? They are super different, okay? But listen to me, you need to practice a lot these verbs and you're gonna get them one way or another. So for today, um, you have a notebook activity with also three sentences only. Eh, si tenemos dudas sobre esto, me pueden preguntar. Okay, notebook activity, it should be for your notebook, but if you are gonna do it on your computer, it's okay. The important thing is that you turn them to me. Complete using past participle form of the verbs in parentheses. Number one. I have, en este caso, a diferencia de ayer, les estoy dando el auxiliar. And you need to fill in the blanks by writing this verb, this verb, and this verb in past participle. Be, go, stay. Not in gerund, not in past simple, past participle, que es lo que ya estuvimos viendo acá. Si no me equivoco, todos están en esta lista. We have stay... Uh -uh. We're missing stay, stay, ok, we're just missing stay, solo nos faltaría stay, you can find it um, on the internet or you can look for more charts on the internet. So, I have blank B to a lot of different countries around the world. Number two, Maria and Pablo have blank go to the new market a few times, ok? Number three, Laura has blank stay in the hotel for a week, ok? Aquí ya no tenemos que agregar el auxiliary verb have or has because I already gave it to you, porque ya se los di. You just need to write be, go, stay in past participle. Listen to the instruction. Write these three verbs in past participle. And that's it. It is not that difficult. But if you have questions, it is, if it's not that clear, please text me, please send a message to me uh, so you cannot do a different thing that uh, what you should do, okay? So that's it for today. I'll be waiting for you to send me this activity. Remember that it's important to keep doing your activities. Uh, we're almost there. And remember that tomorrow we are going to have the Zoom meeting, the live class. And I'll be waiting to meet you right there. Some of you haven't um, been participating in the live classes. Don't worry, we are almost finishing. Enjoy this time that we have uh, together. We don't know what's coming next. And that's it, kids. Have a nice and beautiful day. See you tomorrow. Be on time. Bye.